good morning students very good morning to one and all once again i welcome all of you to our online lecture sessions 2020 21 okay first of all a very happy new year to all of you we are meeting up to so many days okay so we are starting something new today we are starting block 15 learning plan number 2 we have already seen a poem my shadow okay and today we are taking personification okay learning plan number 2 so once you go through this particular session you will be able to identify the personification once you go through this session you will be able to identify the personification in the poem and the resources required for the same are s2 exit english reader and notebook keywords personified personification and human these are the important words in this particular session so what does it mean by personification it's very simple you can see here personification the word is person and this ification means identification person's identification when the human qualities have been given to the non living or the living things but which can't move from one place to another place like these trees okay and in some cases to the some animals okay giving human qualities to animals or objects like here you can see this tree is there okay and what they have said the trees dance back and forth in the wind okay dancing is a quality okay these trees were just moving is because of the wind but here the writer has said the trees dance back and forth in the wind okay to make that particular line poem or any other thing very attractive or very entertaining we use personification okay it's because of personification uh, whatever we write it becomes more beautiful okay here you can see the swan is smiling at us the streets are calling me now this smiling and calling these are our qualities isn't it these are our qualities okay as a human being these are our qualities this smiling and uh, calling okay now the person suppose uh, calling someone so this quality is our quality smiling and calling when we give this qualities to the non living things or the objects at that time the figure of speech is personification okay so here this smiling and calling these are our qualities given to the non living things sun and to the streets and that's why here the type of figure of speech is nothing but a personification the first rays of morning tiptoed through the window tiptoed means came inside okay you can see here the rays are coming inside the sun rays morning light you can see here there is a window okay i hope you can see you must have understood now somewhat what is personification is okay now can you tell me what does the sentence mean can the sun rays really tiptoe why are the sun rays described like this now do you know the meaning of tiptoe means what tiptoe means walking through something very quietly and carefully now can these rays they can walk walking is our quality which is been given to the sun rays okay 
So what does the sentence mean? Can the sun rays really tiptoe? Can they really walk? Why are the sun rays described like this? Why? What do you think? The sentence describes that the sun rays are entering through the window. The sun rays can't tiptoe like humans. They can't walk like humans. The sun rays have been personified here. Okay, our quality have been given to the sun rays. They are described as humans and given the human quality of walking. This is called personification. This is called as a personification. Goes in and out. I see him jump before me. He likes to grow fast asleep in bed. Goes in and out. I see him jump before me. He likes to grow fast asleep in bed. Okay. Here, can you see where and how has the poet used personification? They have given some lines. Okay. The poet described the shadow. The poet has described a shadow. As a person who does things like human being, the poet described the shadow. Jumps, okay, grow and sleep also. Okay, like a human. So here, personification have, have been used where? Here goes. I, at the same time, jump grow and asleep. These are our qualities which is been given to the shadow. Hence, here the figure of speech is personification. Okay. Now, can you just tell me why has the poet used personification in the poem? How would the poem be different? If personification was not used, just imagine if the poet would, ha would have not used personification. So, how the, po uh, the poem would have been different? Just think. Personification makes the poem more interesting and fun to read. It has made the description more detailed. It helped us to create images in our mind. It help us to create images in our mind. And that's what the personification. It's because of the personification we start thinking about those images. Okay. So personification is really very, very useful figure of speech to make the poem more impressive, more beautiful. What other things can a shadow do like a human? What do you think? There are many things. A shadow can laugh, hide and dance like human. And all these things have been mentioned in the poem itself. Okay, read, go through the poem once again. Now homework. You have to complete S2 activity from workbook. And you have to write three examples of personification, three sentences. And complete all this and send it to me today by 5 p.m. today itself. Understood? Very good. Very nice. So thank you students for watching this very short yet very informative and useful video. You very carefully and patiently. Thanks a lot and have a great day to all of you. Thank you so much.